Hello and welcome back to Family Sign Language with the NDCS, National Deaf Children's Society. My name is Sarah and I'm here to help you learn some sign language. So today is session number six. If you're just joining us for the first time today, no need to worry. You can watch the previous videos online through YouTube, but also as we go through today, we're going to recap some of the signs that we looked at last week. So last week's topic that was covered was things that we do every day. I'm hoping that you've had a chance to have a practice. Let's have a look. Practice now with me and see what you can remember. Wake up. Wash your face. Eat lunch. Go to the park. Well done. So today's topic is going to be the same, but we're going to be learning more different signs, things that we use every day. Okay, so when you're ready, I'm going to sign twice, the first time with voice and the second time without. So if you watch me and then copy. Drive. Laugh. Talk or sign or speak. Sit down or sit down. Stand up or stand up. Drink. Ride a bike. Kick a ball. Rest. Wash the dishes. Bath or bath. Shower. Wash your hair. Ready for bed. Sleep or sleep.
dream. Brilliant. So now we've learned some new signs linked to things that we do every day. So let's have a little practice together. I'm going to sign a brief story. So watch me. And then the second time when I sign, you can copy. OK. The story is about family. Ready? Hello, my name is Sarah. I like to have a shower and brush my teeth every day before breakfast. I have a son. He likes to ride his bike to the park. And my daughter, she really likes to play football. Both of my children love to play. My friend, they like to sit down and read a book before they go to sleep. OK, so now we're going to do it again, this time copy me. Hello, my name is Sarah. I like to have a shower and brush my teeth every morning before breakfast. My son likes to ride his bike to the park. And my daughter really loves to play football. She can kick that ball really far. Both my children really love to play. And my friend likes to sit down and read a book before they go to sleep. Great. Now I've got some ideas for activities that you can try at home. The first one needs two people. So you and maybe a family member could sit down together. You could then fingerspell a word to the other person and then hopefully they'll be able to give you the sign back. It's a bit of a challenge. You can take turns and maybe you could decide to try three words each or maybe five or ten. Have a go and see how you get on. The second activity would be to use something like one of your favourite books. Talk about one of the characters in the book. Describe what the character's doing. You can talk about things like family, we can use colours, signs for animals, and don't forget daily routines as well. Try and use the signs that you've already learned in the previous weeks to broaden your vocabulary. Or you can draw pictures and send them in to me, or you can do practice videos and send those in to me as well. Have a go and see how you get on. Good luck. I really hope you've all enjoyed learning with the Family Sign Language today. And don't forget to please share any videos that you make or any photos or pictures. You can share them and you can add comments in YouTube. But you can also use other social media such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Please remember to use the hashtag 
and the hashtag is Family Sign Language. And if you send any videos or pictures, hopefully we could share them next time. I hope you enjoy signing with your family and I'll see you next week. The topic for next week is going to be feelings. Thank you for joining me today. Bye bye.